so meena we are yes. online and uh, i want to introduce uh, to you again as uh, we have lost connection uh, due to uh, okay. technical issues uh, so our first lecturer uh, lecture is on introduction to gis with a special reference to rgis which is going to be delivered by dr meena baba zada from iran who is a research analyst she is mphil and phd in regional development from center for study of geography in regional development jawaharlal nehru university new delhi india her research title was an assessment of land cover land surface temperature on urban heat island case study of delhi by landsat she was awarded junior fellowship from indian council of social science research and junior research fellowship from university grant commission of india academic award new delhi india she is also actively invo involved in social work and was a volunteer at animal savior group jnu from 2011 till present humanitarian response volunteer during uttarakhand disaster rudrapyag august 2013 and was a volunteer teacher at ladakh hill reva society Ladakh from August 2015 to August 2019. Uh, now I request um, Dr. Meena Baba Zada to present her lecture, and I also want to introduce. Uh, I also want uh, Meena Baba Zada to Zaba Zada to introduce herself. Uh, maybe I just left something about her that uh, you should know. uh so over to uh, dr meena meena baba zada thank you thank you sabha uh i think you cover all my you know cv so i prepared to go directly to my lecture about introduction to rgis with a special reference to rgis so i know every researcher now is looking to use rgis art map or other uh, satellite remote sensing data analysis because it giving that much a uh, smooth result and uh, increasing our wisdom about different issues so everybody now is looking to learn rgis and remote sensing analysis so i'm happy that if i can even in the future be part of your organization to teach to others how they can use and access to uh, from this uh, to this software So, what is GIS? What people knows about GIS? The Geographic Information System that is computer based and then with methodology for collecting, collecting, managing, analyzing, modeling the issues. People use our GIS, and and also GIS allow us to use widely big data and then query them to terms of special relation of each elements. if we can see the hospital system are helping us to understand different issue from different angle as we have a data now in this is we have a big facing big data so it given us to us enough information increase our knowledge and increase our understanding to have more collaboration and to make a better decisions a complete system for geographic information system it's about our system that include desktop mobile web it can be in, in, in each of uh, the, these elements that can help us to discover create manage visualize analyze and collaborate our data in this this our this address many common uh, workflows like for different people from different field try to use rgis because it can help for modeling analysis designing cartography making map situational awareness field uh, collaboration cartography making new maps making new models people use uh, rgis two type of special data is uh, always play important role in rgis one is raster data that directly we are getting from satellites that it continue data uh, air photos scan maps elevation layers most remote sensing data can be used as a, uh, can be named as a raster data and vector data that district features that the layer each layer of rgis 
It can give us point and line and polygon that we call it vector data. As we know that a data model based on a, a collection of different fields, different data from different fields. It can be rainfall data, it can be hydrography, snowfall, uh, uh, canals, uh, surface, land surface data can uh, come under this category of uh, collection of data. That uh, we talk about a special data vector format. As we said that in RGS, we know uh, one element is vector format. That vector format also come under some category. That vector is not only a name. It can be point, line, polygon. That point is from point from A to X. Line is that how um, sequences of the point making line. And polygon, that is a closed line. Raster and vector data are described, uh, raster data described by uh, cell uh, gray, one value per cell. As we know that satellite is um, crossing, the, when crossing the land, that kind of sensor is giving them a different cell number. Each cell has a specific information, can come on the point, line, or polygon. So if we can see point has also kind of one number, one value in the satellite data. Line also has include some value, depending on how much the line we are making the shape file also has some data. As you can see, uh, one, uh, this is another dimension of one satellite image that uh, is raster data. If it can become a plate, we will see that in a small point, a small square, we have lots of data. Data can be from the different environment, can be from the city, but suppose for land that is 30 meter by 30 meter, we have information. Two fundamental ways for representing geographic uh, discrete objects. One is district objects reviews that present the real world by Different, different objects can be point, can be line, can be polygons. On, in this days, RGS has so many online uh, information that already available in RGS. Can be different map, can be topography map, can be road map. It's already online is available in RGS. Some base map already has been exist in RGS, although by developing RGS program, this kind of data has been shipped to the RGS. One is like ready-made street data, topographic data of different area, socioeconomic of that area, population, imagery, that you can see that online in your um, RGS map. RGS is online, yes, it's online, free and ready to use. Extend your our desktop to contain our tools, a new way of sharing our maps and knowledge. Enable part participation is online GIS community, and RGS already provide this information to us. As I said, RGS is easy to use because of hundred facilities that's available in that software. It can be three D that in the in normal in maps, we are not, we don't have that kind of options, but RGS is giving us this option. And we can use it online. Yes, so many information has been online and that can be transferred to RGIS. And we can improve even uh, making different model in RGIS. RGIS desktop gets better. Yeah, it gets better by time because different model, even for Suppose for Landsat, if any error is there now recently, they made the error toolbox that we directly add in the toolbox to RGS, we are be able to solve the issue. So for different uh, problem, different idea about RGIS, so we have an open hand to make our models. Better map for the, uh, production, yeah. With, with RGIS, art map, we can have a better uh, solution to provide better maps for our production. Like, um, depending on the, what is the scale we uh, require, that map also can be changed. As you can see, this kind of data has been av already available in GIS Online. That is, if you can see an example of popular worldwide geographic information, 
Rusty that I can directly go to that map and use this data. Previously, I have to go to Google Earth. From Google Earth, see the area. But now, at the same time, now I can open my Google Earth in my ArcGIS and see that area, how the how is my field look like, what is the location of each element. A special analyst, it's a one tool, a small, uh, I cannot say tool, one kind of, one option in the ArcGIS that it can help to deliver information about the data which I am receiving from satellite data. So for analyzing that, we need a special analyze tool. A special analyze, uh, sorry, a special analyze in the RGIs is like land surface area, what is the la my land situation, what kind of analysis, what kind of model I can uh, prepare for in my map. Great, that is important things about uh, satellite data is that uh, this kind of grid has the row and column that each row and column include lots of information. This cell size and extensions number also depend on the, my satellite data. Yes, great data. If you can see a small satellite image, even one cell has so many information. It can be that cell can be from environmental area, can be from urban area, can be from any area, has the different information that by different analyzing, especially analyze, I can get my required information. If you can see image data set, that is digi uh, digital anthropologists and satellite imagery, if you can see this image data set has different figures, different information of the different cities. That if I can go to the city, I cannot have this kind of observation. I cannot have that much wisdom to see my area from up. Three view of guys that can give to us. One is real data based view. One is geo visualization, uh, visual, uh, visualization view and uh, geo -pro uh, processing view. In fact, every GIS development happened during the years how because the gis now we are uh, seeing today it wasn't like before that from 1890 till 1999 everybody was using arc info and then rts uh, increase improved to this 10.6 that today everybody has in their uh, system and then arc view that also in we can say develop and help to make it both help to make it our gis and I, you can uh, know that for every system, according to their um, memory, and then for the systems, 32 by 64 by, they made RGS improve. Art map, art catalog, art toolbox. Yes, there are different, different toolbox that help the RGS to process the data. So if you open your uh, art map area, you can see with help of our toolbox, I can uh, choose my specific analysis for my data. With catalog, our catalog, I can give environment to my equations. And with your processing, I can see after my uh, analysis what is happening to my data. ITS Pro, that is a recent one, that is single integrate project that I can have, uh, can be done in that area, one folder for one project. Uh, this ARC just uh, provides us that we can uh, use our project in one window and have every software to help to us. Yes, now ready to use tools for anywhere in the world, yeah. For a small area, whatever is dependent on our project and our research, we can select our specific area, make a shape file out of it, and then apply different methods, different models to see the changes in our area. So database is one um, way of uh, analyzing in GIS that GeoData give us a strong model based on our series of samples in the environment of GIS. 
common no special information types that it can come on the tables, can come on the features, can come on the rest of the data, depend on our project that what we aim to do. Flow database can be a storage of for all type of low uh, special information data that depend on our project, which kind of um, element we can use. Sometimes for a station, we have used point for the area, big area of like hydrology, we have to make a polygon. So according our aim, this geospatial information can be changed. As I said, our base geodata uh, base, it can come on the points, can come on the line, depend on our project. What If you can see for geodatabase, what kind of uh, things I can use, even for hydrology, I have different elements that I can, different um, equations that I can use it for geometric in a, in a network also has different elements, different equations. And then the final for the relationship between them, I can use different classes. Uh, this kind of uh, mining from different classes is object of classes. An object is collection of objectives can come on the toolbar format. That if you can see in that table, we have different elements. That final result of these elements can give us different attribute. In fact, it's a table that unique and that can be identified by different columns. And the final result can be my attribute table. Feature class that feature class is a collection of blue and geographic object, toolbox format, as we said that last each table can give me my unique ID. That unique ID can be used for analyzing each point. Suppose for this point, I can select a point, I can give information whatever longitude, latitude, whatever aim I have, I can give this information to the table. And final result by the table can be sure with different honors, like rigging, grid, IDWI, I can use the analysis and see the changes. RGS is online, some part of RGS, although I have to mention it's online, not all of that, depending on the per, uh, things that I want use either topographic map or urban map or road map that is different it can i can use this kind of facility sharing information with RGS even become easy as you can see even people for different different country people can make it their, their own geo information data and make it online so by searching in the net i can find the, this kind of information and convert to my rgis and use those data Make our map become easy for RGIS, as you can see, yeah, some part that I was already telling you, that is for S3, topographic map, uh, road map, ocean, hydro map, that's already available in the uh, art map that I can use it. Although it's better that I can, at the same time, we can use our satellite data but only for inquiring my area for accuracy assessment, we need this kind of online data, but mostly we have to use our satellite data. Thank you so much. Sabo. Uh, th thank you so much, uh, Dr. Uh, Meena Babazada for uh, joining us and uh, throwing light on the GIS uh, and the uh, very important software nowadays uh, uh, becoming uh, our GIS. Uh, thank you so much and thank you so much for everyone who is there to join us. Uh, we are seeing Sanjit Kundu with us and uh, now we have uh, the next presentation is of mine and I am going to present my presentation on the topic getting familiar with RGIS and with this I request you all to be with us and the, the next presentation will be a very small one and for tomorrow we are having one lecture on the how we are using the RGIS in the research that will be the first lecture and the second lecture will be on a very important topic web gis 
बिकॉज नाउ अट इज मैनी ऑफ द यंग पीपल आर वेरी मच वॉन्ट टू यूज द आर जी आई एस सॉफ्टवेयर एंड एंड अदर जी आई एस सॉफ्टवेयर सो द आर दो सो द वेब जी आई एस विल बी द आंसर फॉर ऑल दो वॉन्ट टू इंक्लूड जी आई एस इन देयर रिसर्च सो टमोरो वी आर हैविंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेक्चर बाय नसरतुल्ला फॉर ऑन वेब जी आई एस and i request everyone to be uh, on time uh, because today we have some technical issues and we have uh, disconnected from uh, and one thing more uh, we are going to upload this uh, rec- the recording session of uh, this recording also on youtube and uh, if you are not able uh, to see the live session uh, on youtube you can see the recording of this session also uh so be, uh, without wasting time i am going to present my presentation which is on getting familiar uh, with rgis Uh, so friends uh, today uh, the topic is getting familiar with the rgis use of rgis software in research um before going further i uh, want to uh, tell something about our uh, uh, firm that is geospatial mapel uh, we are in the geospatial industry since 2014 located in the city of nawabs lucknow Uh, we are act- we are actively involved in imparting education to students of graduation and post graduation research scholars and professionals about geospatial technology which involves photogrammetry remote sensing geographical information system global navigation satellite system properly known as uh, gps and surveying uh, we are involved in conducting seminars like uh, uh, last month also we have organized an international webinar on uh, geospatial techniques and its role in rural development that is a very successful uh, webinar around 2000 people joined us in that and uh, around 100 people uh, presented their uh, papers in the last webinar and uh, geospatial mapel also deliver the expert data collection management and analysis uh, that drive projects across all disciplines in the specialized field of geospatial technology from infrastructure to natural resources and everything in between we offer high quality remote sensing services and gis to develop uh, to deliver accurate data that you need to make decision we also provide uh, assistance in the dissertation work of graduation post graduation and research works of uh, phd and mphil students the student uh, the institute is well equipped with the open source gis software and tools currently used in the mapping industry uh, so uh, now uh, c- coming to the topic getting familiar with rgis use of rgis software in research Uh, so this is the most uh, uh, probably the most asked question post